so not only does it go around the sides to do this little pinch one here, but also there's, oh, a yeah. small, there's a small weep. And it's just the little details that we try and catch. And that's the art, and then even incorporating a frog in there. Wow, look at all the butterflies. Now well, that's why they call it butterfly bush. That's right. What do you guys call it out here? It's a budlia. Say that. Budlia. <laughs> Budlia. <laughs> so what town are we in? Great Eaton. Great Eaton. Great Eaton. Great Eaton. Great Eaton. <laughs> so I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. And I am in Eagle Cliff. England, and I'm traveling around with Mark Wilson from Any Pond Limited, and Peter from JD Landscapes, and the big boss, Jonathan. How you doing, buddy? And this is Mike. Hi, Mike. You're the proud owner of the Aquascape Pond, correct? Correct, right, yep. And you ended up putting this in in February, right? February this year, yeah. So, Mike, you had a pond for a long time living here, right? That's correct, yeah. And uh, how did you end up coming about uh, hiring Jonathan? Advertisement in uh, one of the local publications. And your old pond had been leaking, giving you some problems? Yes. And so you came out here, Jonathan, and, and proposed what we've got here, right? That's right. Uh, first of all, we sent Peter to uh, to look for a leak. So, so Peter is your one of your foremen? Peter's my foreman, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we really struggled to find just one leak. There was lots of leaks around. In the end, we actually just talked about it. There's a, a new way of, of building these water features. You know, the so, Mike, were you planning on rebuilding the water feature, or did it just sort of kind of evolve? No, I was planning on uh, relining the, the pond as it was, but after discussion, decided to go a bit further than that. Since you had a traditional pond, no rock and gravel, how has it been living with an aquascape ecosystem water feature in terms of aesthetics and, and maintenance? Excellent. Very nice. Less work than the last one? Yes. And doesn't leak. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully never. project like this, Jonathan, entail? This one is like, roughly around a six by four meter ecosystem pond. We've got our signature 1000 skimmer in this corner. Now our biofalls at the top with a, with a waterfall. There's a couple of fish caves that we've also put in here, roughly about five ton of rock. We also done a little bit on the patio. So with all the planting and, and everything included, you're sort of talking in the region of around 12 and a half thousand. Okay, great. And so show us how the mechanical skimmer works. So this is our signature 1000 skimmer. <laughs> It's just as simple as taking this off this ridiculously light lid. Uh huh. Uh, and what was brilliant is I actually took Mike to see one of my ponds across the town, uh, and he goes, "That's great, you know, but I would really like to see one with a skimmer," which was a really, really big bonus because it was there. It was just well disguised. Uh huh. <laughs> so he couldn't see that it was exactly. there. And it was just about getting the plants to, to mature around it, and these things almost become invisible, which is of, of natural. And so all Mike does is do what? Essentially, it is a case of just closing the lid up and just lifting uh, lifting the basket out, and you can see the. Uh, um, the weir flap is in there. Yeah, yep. the weir flap is all that. You see that the, uh, the leaves yep, are it caught catches, into there. catches all the stuff, and then uh, it's kind of like having somebody cut your lawn, and then you have to empty the bag, right, Mike? <laughs> yes, yes. So before, the last pond didn't have a skimmer here, is that correct? That's correct. It had a, a filter, but uh, nothing like this. It was, uh, it was a UV light. Uh-huh. A lot of people think that you to get this kind of water quality, you have to have a UV light, but they don't really understand the ecosystem approach to water features. Yeah, it's totally. It's all to do with the beneficial bacteria, the rocks, the plants. It's, yeah, it's working with Mother Nature. One of the reasons that you put the waterfall over there, Jonathan, because you want the sound facing uh, the house, absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. Not just that, is that we want people to appreciate these water features 365 days a year. So we've got like a lovely seating area behind you. So even in the winter time, when you don't want to sit outside, you can still see the waterfall. Because even outdoor loving people spend the majority of their time inside. You got this lovely, you know, glass room right here and look at the view right here. It's just absolutely spectacular. Does the family like it? Oh yes, very much. I heard even your daughter got a water feature after this, huh? She has, yeah. 
<laughs> That's what it's all about. It's about exposing people to how simple this is, right? Exactly. Exactly. So what do you think the biggest shift is? Because this is different than what people normally do out here in England. Uh, it's hugely different. It's in, in some ways controversial. And that's only because what people are sort of used to dealing with. You know, we've, we're building more and more of these features, but also doing shows. We try and educate people that you don't need a UV light. You don't need a hideous black box to filter these ponds. Uh, and like you say, this is a crystal clear pond when it's just run off Mother Nature, essentially. All the beneficial bacteria in the biofalls and, and the pond. Yeah, let's itself. show me the biofalls up top here. Yeah. So because most people don't realize the filter is actually the waterfalls. Absolutely, yeah. And as I said, the best kind of filtration is the invisible kind. Mm -hmm. So this is the biofalls, the biofalls right up here. Right at the top here, yeah. And about once a year, you would actually clean this yeah, out. We just, we just take those rocks off and, and clean that out. Yep. And as the water flows up, that becomes a biological filter. And look at how aesthetically pleasing it is. That's right, exactly. There's actually a little drip weep which comes through here. Um, so not only does it go around the sides through this little pinch one here, but also there's, oh, a yeah. small, there's a small weep. And it's just the little details that we try and catch. And that's the arc, and even incorporating a frog in there. Was that frog an existing uh, feature in the, yeah, in the we, pond? We found it in the old one, uh, and it actually works just perfectly in that, that scenario. Uh, with the natural sort of uh, natural cut in the rock, mm -hmm. you can just get really creative and, and, you know, and play about with it. That's good work. <laughs> Very good work work and it's art. Mike, I gotta ask you, what do people say that come and see the new pond versus the old one? Well, uh, it's obviously a lot different and a lot more attractive than the, the old pond was. I haven't had any negative comments at all. So you would recommend Jonathan to your friends and even oh, your own daughter? I certainly would, yes. The Aquascape ecosystem is definitely a paradigm over here in the UK. And the reason that I'm coming out here and showing the work that these guys are doing, these certified Aquascape planners are doing over in the UK, is I want to inspire more people over here to do ponds done right, customer serve right, which is low maintenance, beautiful ecosystem-based water features. If you're interested in finding out how to build these beautiful low maintenance Aquascape ecosystems over here in England. I'm going to be back in December doing seminars. Check out the link below to find out where I'm going to be back in England with these guys teaching contractors in the UK how to build ponds done right, customer serve right, ecosystem water features, and helping more people in the UK live the Aquascape lifestyle. So we're just out here with Jonathan Davis and we're driving through uh, we're in Great Ayton. Great Ayton. <laughs> <laughs> in Yorkshire. And, and in Yorkshire, and we're just checking out some beautiful aquascape water features that he's built. Driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> nice garden. Yeah. Wow, look at all the butterflies. Well, that's why they call it butterfly bush. That's right. What do you guys call it out here? It's a budlia. Say that. Budlia. <laughs> <Budlia. laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. Very nice. Those are cool stones. Yeah. You built this 20 months ago? About 20 months ago, yeah. Okay, and he's got an existing pond down there. That's right, yeah. What was his goal? What did he want to accomplish? Uh, ah, here he is now. How are you doing? How you doing, sir? Yeah. I'm the pond guy, Greg. Hi. Um, what a beautiful waterfall. It is. It's fantastic, it is. So what, how did you find Jonathan, and what was your concept and goal here? There's a local magazine that comes out, and everybody has a free freebie. It's something I thought about for a long while, and then um, I decided to have it done, and he's the man. You have the existing pond back there, but you wanted something up up yeah, here yeah, with uh, yeah. taking advantage yeah, of the slope yeah. yeah it's not very often that we get to sort of deal with the slope and when you do it's instantly as pond builders you think oh, oh. my god let me add it absolutely uh, absolutely and we had the opportunity with the access as well which is pr pretty good access some big stones. big stones and it's not very often we get to play with big rocks this was actually our very first project with super size so well uh -huh. big rocks and are you happy with the way it turned out oh fantastic isn't it absolutely. yeah it really is it couldn't be better could it so you're a gardener i see the the Budlia? Yes. That's it. <laughs> Yay, Budlia! <laughs> <laughs> So 
explain to me how this works, Jonathan. Uh, so our pump vault's in the bottom here. I think there's a aqua block basin down there. Uh -huh. Pump vault, which is in the center, stops everything from squashing in. We've got our two spillway boxes at the top here and two pumps which run this. Roughly around 40,000 liters an hour. Uh-huh. So what would a project like this entail from JD Landscapes and Water Features? Uh, so these are, like I said, these are big rocks. All yeah. machine, machine lift, lifted rocks. This is a 12,000 feature. And with that, uh, you get your basin down the bottom there um, with the exclusive pump vault. You know, and uh, the, the spillway boxes, naturally everything like this is all concealed and hidden and all that rock and the pebbles. So how long would this take to construct? This took three days to build. Not bad. Yeah. You guys work hard. Yeah, we tried to. So how long has this pond been here? That's been here since about 1977. So right when you moved in. So this is kind of a traditional English pond back here and you don't see a big waterfalls and uh, it's really not really filtered water. It's more just for uh, aquatic plants and frogs and nature. <laughs> What's up, chickens? They're not used to the American accent. <laughs> What's up, chickens? Oh, nice garden. So, traditional backyard, non traditional backyard. So waterfall spillway, waterfall spillway. You don't need a biofalls on a pondless waterfall because you turn it on and off, you don't have to keep it running. You know, the biggest problem that we that we see is that people have kids or grandkids uh, and they say to us, we really need to fill it in because it's just not safe. And you know, it's all about education. And I actually would grow up around water. I'll be bringing my, my daughter up around, you know, ponds and waterfalls and kids to play in this you know these big rocks don't move under you know you can walk about them they're that heavy they're just not going to go anywhere so they're not going to tip they're not going to rock and uh, the idea is is just let the kids go and have fun have a bit of play time in the sun amen yeah. so what town are we in bridge eaton bridge eaton great eaton Great Etten. <laughs> we're, we're in Great Etten. Great Etten. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay. If ever there was a traditional pond for you know in England, this is it. It's a typical bear liner pond. Very, very high maintenance. And you know you can't see in it. There is fish in here, but it's got duckweed all over the place. There's no skimming system on there. This is traditional, and our aquascape ecosystems mm -hmm. basically have skimmers that you wouldn't get the duckweed with. They have yeah. biological waterfall filters that would need to be cleaned once a year versus yeah. a canister filter, uh, which is probably what it has over here, something like right. that. Yeah, realistically, this needs to be cleaned every sort of two to two to four weeks. Right, fish and we do once a year for our biofalls if a biofalls was up there. Yeah. So this is kind of the uh, paradigm and this is a mind shift to an ecosystem-based ponding. Exactly, yeah. This is the reason why we're doing all these shows. We're doing it YouTube, everything like that. It's just education. Um, and people, at the end of the day, want an easy life. And the ecosystem ponds, not only do they look amazing and, and, and very beautiful, the rock and gravel isn't there just for to make it look good. Yes, it does look amazing. Right. Natural, but it's not, it is there for a reason with the biological filtration side. And the skimming system cuts down pretty much all the work. Excellent. So if you're interested in finding out more about aqua Aquascape ecosystem ponds over here in England. We're going to be coming back. I'm going to be coming back in December and actually putting on a series of seminars out here. So we'll put a link below to the seminars to teach contractors ponds done right, customers serve right, the ecosystem approach to water features, and showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. It's just so exciting for me to come back to a country like this and help them with what we've been able to do in America because literally this is where water gardening was started out in a country like this. So it's got new modern approaches and that's why we're coming back here so we teach them through youtube and we're going to be teaching them through seminars if you want to come to a water feature seminar check out the link below i love my art